dream changing over. There, missed it. Oh! Man shot! The soul of skateboarding, it's not something you could point out, it's more of the collective feeling you get, I'd say, either when you're skating alone or when you're skating with your crew, of uh, that sense of skateboarding. The sense of what just went down, like how you feel, like the environment, what you're skating, who you're skating with. So I think the soul is kind of like that combination of all those million little things that are involved with skateboarding, from like literally things that aren't skateboarding, like just hanging out with your bros after the session, to actually trying a new trick, to doing a trick you've always done. So I'd say the soul of it is all those things that you can't really pinpoint it. And I think if you try and pinpoint it, you'll just keep pinpointing all the millions of awesome things about skateboarding and everything that comes with it. You know that you were guilty of that same thing, like back in the day, like where's the Brooklyn Banks? You know, where's Flushing Meadow Park? But it's gotten to the point where like that aspect of skateboarding where they go find something is totally, they just want to get there. Because again, they're so concerned about the destination instead of the journey getting to that destination. And that's where a lot of the skateboard culture misses out and where it's losing a lot of its luster. You know, when we talk about camaraderie and the soul of skateboarding, that's something huge that's definitely missing where a lot of the meat of skateboarding and the backbone of it is, believe it or not, not skateboarding at a particular spot. It's everything except that. You know, and that is kind of like disappearing and getting less and less and less. So in my mind, you know. I love you.